Welcome to another episode of Maverick Showdown. This is episode six already. It seems like it's been really quick this time, but we are joined today by three wonderful contestants. We have the man who's so good at healing birds that he can just look at them and they'll be healed. Ben, how does it feel being able to nurse a bird back to health like that? I've always had this dream inside of me to just be a healer. And one day I was bird watching as I often do. And one bird died right in front of me. I looked at it and it came back to life. That's, and ever since then. That's impressive. That feels like a skill that I think you should start teaching to people, start making like a paid course for it. <sighs> it doesn't work on humans. Uh, that's yeah. unfortunate. Anyway, we are next. Our next guest is the man who is most notable for solving every math equation ever invented, Phil. How did you manage that? There's a lot of math questions. How did you do it? I was just walking through Walmart one day, looking for, you know, protein powder, get those dates. And somebody just walks up to me and it's like, what's two plus two? I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> he got it right. And from that moment onwards, he just, he knew every math equation. And finally, we are joined by the lady who is most infamously known for her triangle solo, Emily. That was an impressive solo on the triangle. How did you manage such a task? Look, you just, you take a stick and you just hit it against another stick and it's, it's that simple. That's, wow. That seems like yeah. such a hard job, honestly. It's very difficult, very, trained for very years. Very, very impressive. Anyway, let's move on right to the questions. There are four categories, five questions per category. If you get a question right, you get a point. Emily, you get to choose the first category. I'll go with movies. All right, we will start with movies. What is our first movie question today? Name the actor of Ace Ventura. Uh, Any guesses here? Doesn't seem like we have. Oh, last second I'll, guess. I'll guess Tom Cruise. Is it Tom Cruise, <laughs> Emily guesses? It is Jim Carrey. Yeah. That means, unfortunately, <laughs> we're gonna have to stick with movies for this first or for the second question. Let's see what it is. Who said it? So uncivilized. Oh, Phil. What is Batman? Is it Batman? It is oh. not. <laughs> it is Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi. <laughs> I mean, they're both kind of their own Batmans in their own ways. But we will be sticking with movies for our second or for our third question in the movie category. What do we got? What does Moana have to return? Oh, the, oh Ben. The heart of Tafini. Tafiti. Tafinti. Taf is that <laughs> correct? Tafiti. It is indeed the heart Tafiti. of Tafiti. Is Jeez. correct, Ben, with our first point of the game. And you get to choose whether or not you want to move on. We'll stay in movies. He says, let's stay yeah. in movies. Let's go on to our next movie question then. What kind of tree made up the forest of Endor in episode six, Return of the Jedi? Any questions here or any guesses? It doesn't seem like we're gonna have any guesses on this one. Trying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, Ben? Because of the way that it looks, yeah. is it an aspen? Is it an aspen tree, he says. No, it is a redwood tree, unfortunately. Okay. And that means we will be moving on to our final movie question of the day. Already done. What is the last, what is the last name Elizabeth Swan tells the pirates in Pirates of the Caribbean? Ooh, Emily. Turner. Is it Turner? It is indeed <sighs> Emily nice. getting herself a point on the final movie question. If we take a look at the scores here, Ben with one. Philip with zero and Emily with one. A very close race so far through the movie category. Emily, you get to choose the next category. Uh, let's go history. History. All right. What is our first history question today? How many wives did King... Ooh, Emily. Uh, he had six wives. Was it six wives? Six, it was seven, indeed. Six. Emily, That's getting a easy. second point here. Do you want to stick with history or do you want to move on? Let's keep sticking with history. Let's stick with history, she says. What is our second history question today? Whose assassination led... 
Oh, Emily. Archduke Ferdinand. Was it Archduke Ferdinand? It was indeed <laughs> Emily running oh, away no. in the history column here. <laughs> Three points at the moment. And do you want to stick with history? Or yeah, let's on? stick with the winner. She says let's stick with history. She's doing well and it makes sense. What is our next history question? What empire did Charlemagne... Oh. Yes. Ottoman. Uh, is it the Ottoman Empire Emily guesses? Oh. It was a Holy Roman Emperor Empire. So, unfortunately, the streak has ended. It was a good run, though. But we will be moving on to our next history question here. What will it be? What country lost a war to emus? Emily. Australia. Is it Australia? Australia. It is indeed Australia. Emily, with her fourth point, and you get to choose. Do you want to stick with history, finish it up, or? Might as well. Let's get it done with. She says, let's finish up the history category. What do we got? Who wrote the first code of laws? Emily. Hammurabi. Is it Hammurabi? It is indeed. <laughs> Emily running away in the history category here. If we look at the scores, Ben with one point, Philip still sitting behind with zero, and Emily absolutely taking control with five points. And you get to choose which category you want to go to next. We have sports and, and pop culture. Let's do pop culture. All right, pop culture it is. What is our first pop culture question today? What is Miley Cyrus's real name? <laughs> oh, Ben, jump Hannah, in. Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> is it Hannah Montana? Real it is what? <laughs> Destiny really? Hope Cyrus. Huh? Not quite Hannah Montana. <laughs> I respect guess. the guess, though. <laughs> that means, however, we will be sticking with pop culture for the second question here. What do we got? How many Harry Potter films? Oh, Phil. Is it seven? Is it seven? It's I knew it. eight. I knew it was wrong they as soon as I said that. <sighs> they split up the last episode in two. There were seven books, but you were yeah. almost there. What do we have for our next pop culture question? What was the name of the former One Direction player Remember, what was the name of former One Direction member Neil Horan's first stu solo studio album? I struggle to read. <laughs> oh. Different direction? <laughs> <laughs> Emily guesses different direction. Is that correct? It's Flickr. Uh, I, think, it close. I think that would have been a better one, honestly. Yeah. Personally, I think that would have been a better name for it. But that means we'll be sticking with pop culture again. What do we got here? For... Finish the vine. My main goal is to blow up. And act Phil. like I don't know nobody. <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> it is indeed. Dang. He is acting like he don't know nobody at this point. <laughs> Phil, getting his first point on the board here today. And you get to choose. Do you want to switch over to sports or do you want to stick with the pop culture for the final question? Let's finish up pop culture. Let's finish up pop culture, he says. What is our final pop culture question? What is the longest running game show in network television history? Phil. Is it Jeopardy? Is it Jeopardy, he, said, he asks. It is oh, the Price is ah, Right. Really? Another game show. Again, a very Eight. good guess, but not quite right. And that means we only have sports left to go. How confident do you guys feel going into this? No. I'm pretty no. confident. <laughs> Mixed emotions across the board. If we take a look at the score, Ben with one point, Philip with one point, and Emily. Still sitting in front with five points. And we'll get on to our first sports question here. What is it? In what sport would you perform a pike? Emily. Diving? Is it diving? It mm. is correct. Diving or gymnastics both work. Emily getting a sixth point here as we move on to the next sports question. Who won the first Super Bowl? Uh, Green oh, Bay. Phil, Green Bay Packers. with the guess of Green Bay, is that correct? It is indeed. Phil so. getting a second point here as we move on to the third sports question. Who is the youngest player to win NHL MVP? Ooh, Ben. Is it Barack Obama? <laughs> is it Barack Obama? I don't believe it. Not quite. <sighs> Sidney yes. Crosby and Wayne Gretzky are tied for that answer. So. Unfortunately, that is not correct, though. 
Anyway, we're moving on to our next sports question. What do we got? Who won? Who has won the most NBA championships? Phil. Uh, LeBron James. It's not. Ah, I should rephrase. What team? Oh, Lakers. Is it the Lakers? Oh, what? What? Sorry. I thought it was oh, my bad. Sorry. I love I the Bill team. Russells. <laughs> Uh, there might be Obama. my favorite team. <laughs> anyway, you're wrong either way. <laughs> Bill Russell. And we are on to our final sports question. Who is the highest paid athlete of all time? It's not Barack Obama. <laughs> it is not, in fact, Barack Obama. Oh, Have any guesses here? Ooh, Peyton Emily. Manning? Is it Peyton Manning, she asks? No, it is oh. Michael Jordan. And with that, we will be wrapping up this show with a final score of Ben, one, Philip, two, and Emily with a dominating six. Emily, how did you feel out there? You seem very comfortable. Uh, well, you know, I know a lot of history, so that really saved me. <laughs> Not a lot of sports, though. Oh, well, as long as you got one category, it seems like you did well on it. So... I hope everybody enjoyed this week's episode of Maverick Showdown. Thank you guys very much for coming on. And we hope to see you all again for the next episode next week. <laughs>